I think it's kind of undeniable at this point that the entire toy industry, not just Hasbro Star Wars, is going through a pretty rough patch. Toys R Us just closed last year. Toy sales are definitely down as kids are more focused on their tablets and their phones and their video games. Toy sales and the entire toy industry is kind of struggling, man. And Hasbro Star Wars is without a doubt no exception. Hasbro Star Wars has been struggling quite a while. Um, I especially feel like this struggle very, very much uh, originates from the Disney buyout. Uh, once Disney purchased Hasbro Star Wars, a lot of these issues either started to exist or were amplified. And hopefully we get to a point where these issues either mellow out or they stop existing or... Honestly, I don't want to see Star Wars go to a different company other than Hasbro. I don't think it will since Hasbro slash Kenner has been with it since the beginning. But I don't I don't know, man. The, what is going on with Star Wars is, is concerning. With Star Wars toys being some of the most returned to Christmas gifts last year for Christmas, and Star Wars toy sales generally just being down, uh, Star Wars is definitely struggling, not only theatrically, but also in the toy aisles. And I feel like I have three reasons as to why Hasbro Star Wars is failing. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to make this video a little more coherent than my last take. Uh, that video was 20 minutes long, and I had to redo it because I, my microphone wasn't working. Uh, I was never recording the whole time. So hopefully, this video is a little more coherent, a little smaller, a little shorter, and hopefully it gets my three points across. So let's get into it. The number three reason is a little intricate, but hopefully I can get my point across pretty well. Let's just sum it up as the new media. There's a few issues with the new media. Number one, it's coming out a lot. And I feel like that is an issue because kids that, say, got toys for The Force Awakens, by the time The Force Awakens had already happened and they got all their Kylo Ren toys and all their Rays and all, all the Stormtroopers they wanted, by the time The Last Jedi came around, which was only about two years later, they already had the toys they wanted. Maybe they bought a couple more, but the amount of toys they would buy wouldn't be as big. Now, granted, uh, the prequel trilogy and even the originals had quite a few years between them. On average, about three years between movies. That's enough time. And also, the characters were vastly different each movie. Uh, <laughs> very, very different. Uh, look at the characters from The Force Awakens to The Last Jedi. There's a few new ones. Rose Tico is one of them. Uh, <laughs> and that that goes into my other sub-point in point three. I guess this is point B of uh, point three. That's confusing. Anyways, the heroes. Um, not only are the heroes by the, their characters, and this is very subjective, um, and I don't even really fully agree with this opinion, but not only are the heroes and main characters not that interesting, uh, I feel like they kind of are, but they're not that interesting maybe to kids. Uh, where I work, we have some really cheap Star Wars toys, and we had Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, and Rey. They went on clearance, and the only ones left are the Rays. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe it's because people aren't too invested into the new characters. Maybe it's because the designs aren't that good. That's actually my main point. The designs of the new characters aren't that interesting. They're all just earth tone humans. There's no, there's no aliens. There's no, you know, really cool distinct outfits. Because Princess Leia had some cool outfits. Her Endor outfit is awesome. Uh, her, even a New Hope dress is just really nice and royal while being very simple at the same time. Luke Skywalker had nice outfits. His farm boy outfit was pretty nice. And also his Jedi Knight outfit was badass. Anakin Skywalker looked absolutely awesome in his Jedi robes in Revenge of the Sith. Uh, let's look at Finn. Um, he's in a black jumpsuit and has a, a brown vest. It's not a very interesting character design. Poe Dameron is just a rebel pilot. Uh, he has, and, and when he's not a rebel pilot, brown vest. Uh, <laughs> you look at Rose Tico, earth tone jumpsuit. Uh, they're not very interesting characters on the toy shelves. You need some more color in it. You need some more pizzazz, some design maybe. Something that's a little more, you know, kid appeal. A little more interesting and cool to look at. Something about the whole designs in these new movies. The character designs just aren't as interesting. Even the new alien designs. Um, one of the few I think is really interesting and unique is Two Tubes from Rogue One. He's one of my new favorite alien designs. And one of pretty much my only favorite new alien designs. The other ones I think are just kind of garbage. Uh, and I think that's a pretty big factor. 
The new movies just aren't pumping out things interesting. Of course, the bad guys, the stormtroopers, are still very interesting. There's a reason why you don't really see them on the shelves too often. Because the kids uh, are still scooping up troopers. Even myself as a collector, I still can't resist the troopers. I bought the troopers from the Resistance toy line. Uh, but yeah, there's my third reason. Uh, the media. We'll sum it up to the media. The number two reason why I feel like Hasbro Star Wars is failing is because of what I like to call the hunt. The hunt is just awful now. Of course, I'm referring to going into a store and buying an action figure and saying, hey, I really like that. A uh, very quick comparison to other Hasbro toy lines, Marvel Legends pumps out a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And that is a reason uh, that I'm, you know, kind of just calling this the hunt and not just distribution. Because there's way more variety of things to find with Marvel Legends and things like that. And uh, Transformers as well than Star Wars. They just don't make as much Star Wars toys as they used to. SDCC back in like 20, 2008, 2009. My brother and I were sat down by the computer looking at all the pictures thinking, oh my god, our wallets are going to be completely empty. But nowadays, you look at SDCC and you're like, oh yeah, there's, there's like a few I like. I mean, it's like, what, 30 bucks I'm going to spend? Whatever, man. Yeah, it's there's just not as much. And that's, there's not as much stuff to buy. And on top of that, it's still very hard to buy it. Uh, let's take Transformers, for example. Last year, they had their Power of the Primes toy line come out. And Wave 2 of that line was actually very hard to find. And a lot of people, um, they complained to Hasbro saying, hey, we can't find these. And you know what Hasbro uh, Transformers said? They said, hey... We understand you're not finding these. You know what you should do? You should come go back to the stores in a few weeks when we have restocked them. And guess what? Hasbro Transformers actually resent out that wave and people were able to find it. I actually found it after I was struggling. Hasbro Transformers fixed their mistake. You know what Hasbro Star Wars does? Oh well, guess you're just not going to buy it. <laughs> you know? Uh, Black Series Tusken Raider. I actually really liked it. When I did my review, I was only reviewing my brothers. I told myself, hey, if I see this in stores, I think I might buy it. I never saw it in stores. I don't own a 6-inch Tusken Raider. Uh, so, yeah. The, the distribution uh, is very, very iffy. It still is. Uh, honestly, though, distribution started to struggle around 2012. Um, before, actually around the time Disney bought it, but before Disney made their changes to the line in 2013, introducing 5 POA and 6-inch Black Series. Yeah, the, the distribution is still such a major issue, and the quantity of what is available is also such an issue. Not only with the variety, but also just the numbers of what they send out. Um, and that also goes to just making the interesting characters. All of this ties together. It's just as George Lucas said, it's like poetry, it rhymes. If you... If you send out more of the interesting characters, like Stormtroopers and all that, and make them available and make more variety of the interesting characters kids and adults want to buy, they will sell. Uh, but they're not making interesting characters, not making enough variety, and they're not sending out enough, and they're still hard to find. Um, but this, this all kind of ties into the last issue I have with Star Wars. The number one reason why I feel like Hasbro Star Wars is failing is what I like to call the divide. Hasbro has split their resources thin. They have done this by dividing adult collectibles and kids' toys. This really wasn't a major thing that Hasbro Star Wars did back in the day. Of course, you always had your, you know, normal standard action figures and your spin-off lines like Force Battlers and Attactics and uh, Galactic Heroes. You always had stuff like that, and you, you always will for a toy line as massive as Star Wars. And that stuff is welcome. But when you're dividing the main action figure line, there is a problem. Uh, let's just say, back in the day, um, you had, say, let's look at 2008. You had the Clone Wars line for the new animated series. You had Legacy Collection for new three and three quarter inch figures. And you had Saga Legends, which re-released pre-existing toys to make sure that, say, hey... Toy shelves always had a Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker, a Clone Trooper, things that kids want to buy. Uh, nowadays, you um, you don't have anything like Saga Legends. You have Black Series Archive, which is, number one, the name is absolutely pretentious, Black Series Archive. But um, yet again, ties in with the other stuff. You can't really find them because they only send about one case per store. Um, and also, it's just for the collector stuff. 
You know, Black Series Archive, kids aren't going to want to walk into a store and say, you know, I really want an IG-88. No, kids are going to walk into a store and they're going to say, I really want a Kylo Ren and a Clone Trooper. And guess what? You can't really find that stuff much anymore. Uh, you can find TVC Kylo Ren because going into it, uh, currently there is 5 POA. Uh, two versions of 5 POA. There's the Solo movie, and there's Star Wars Resistance. There's the Vintage Collection. There's the 6-inch Black Series. There's going to be the 8-inch Black Series. Um, there's been so many spin-offs of Black Series. There's those pre-posed statuettes Black Series. I don't even remember what they're called. Uh, there's the 3 and 3 quarter inch die-cast Black Series they were doing. Um, some of those are dead because they really didn't sell too well. Uh, but, yeah. There's just such a divide, because adults aren't really going to want 5 POA, and kids aren't really going to want a $20 Black Series figure, especially when you walk into a store, and all of the Black Series you really see is Jin Ursos, Rose Ticos, and maybe, maybe you might see a Han Solo in a brown jacket. Uh, <laughs> yet again, ties into my other points. But yeah, this divide has split Hasbro's resources thin because they can't concentrate on one main three and three quarter inch line to go with, um, and they have to just do this. I think the solution is not to get rid of six inch black series, but to amalgamate three and three quarter inch into one solid thing. Uh, what I'm going to call for is getting rid of the vintage collection, uh, <laughs> getting rid of it, uh, getting rid of 5 POA, and just making a line akin to the 30th anniversary collection. Um, please note, the 40th anniversary of Star Wars uh, had two waves of mostly repacked Black Series figures, a couple new figures that were later repacked, no, abs no, no unique line for the 40th anniversary, you, you, and the 30th anniversary line was amazing! You got everything from almost every aspect of Star Wars. Expanded Universe, prequels, original trilogy, animated. You had freaking Tartakovsky stuff in the 30th anniversary line. What, what, what has happened? And I feel like all of this ties into the three reasons. The characters they're not making are not as interesting as they used to be. Uh, they're not making as much. Uh, they're not making as much of a variety. And the distribution is horrible. And... And they're splitting the resources too thin. All of the, all three of those reasons is why the 30th anniversary collection was so much better than the 40th anniversary uh, line of uh, Black Series six inch repacks on oversized Kenner cardbacks. Uh, <laughs> all that's the reason, man. That's the reason. They thought kids won't care about the anniversary. They're just gonna want, you know, you know, it's only adults that care. No, man. Uh, I'm telling you, back in 2009, I was, how old was I? I was, I was 11. You know how much I was excited for the 10th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars? I was pumped because I knew they were going to release awesome stuff. And guess what they did? They did. And it was great. <laughs> and 30th anniversary, I was so excited as a kid back in 2007 when I was nine years old. Uh, it's, it's crazy, man. They think, that's the thing, they think the kids don't care, so they only isolate things to adults. And they think adults don't care, so they only isolate things to kids. No, make it both. Both kids and adults loved the Clone Wars line, loved Legacy Collection, Vintage Collection. It's just too divided now. It is too divided, and that's a problem. Six-inch Black Series should exist. And I feel like its slow release rate is pretty typical of just, you know, a line that shouldn't be Hasbro's main toy line priority, but rather just an adult collectible priority. The toy line is what I'm really talking about, and that's really what's struggling. They need to just... They need to bring it back, man. Ah, oh, the glory days are gone. Uh, anyways, this video is almost 20 minutes. I should probably cut it off and not make it as long as the other take. Hopefully, though, I think this take was way more coherent than the other one. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, my points are pretty clear and concise. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, that's pretty much it. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, especially comment. Like I said, I really want to know. Even if you leave a long essay, I will read it, because uh, this is a very important topic for me. Um, have a good day. Force be with you. Links are in the description. I'm just going to go and cry, probably. I don't know. The glory days are gone, man. I just wish they would come back. See ya.